What's up, you guys? So I'm here with another video. I just did a video about Tamar Braxton and JR who got engaged on the Queen's Court and JR now trying to take back what he said about Tamar being a negative person. So if you missed that video, go ahead and check it out. Now I'm here with more tea about Evelyn Lozada and her fiance, LaVon Lewis. But before we get into the tea, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe hit the bell, everyone hit the thumbs up button and let YouTube know you like this type of content. All right, you guys, so Evelyn is doing press for Basketball Wives and she revealed that she and her fiance have gone their separate ways. She told US Weekly or Us Weekly on Thursday that her and LaVon Lewis have officially called it quits. They got engaged last December after falling in love on the Queen's Court dating show, which aired on Peacock in March. And so in her interview with Us Weekly, she gave a couple reasons for the breakup, none of which surprised me. She said the Queen's Court short six week filming schedule didn't help her and LaVon build a strong relationship foundation because it was only six weeks. She said, quote, everything's going so fast. You're asking one million and one questions when you're dating these different guys on the show. And we tried to spend as much time as we could. And then she said, things went so fast. Six months later, we were engaged and I just felt a little bit of a disconnect and the distance. He lives in Atlanta. That was another thing that was really, really difficult. So them being in a long distance relationship was one issue. And the fact that they didn't have a strong foundation because they met on a dating show was another issue. And then she brought up his son as an issue. She said he has a son that is, I believe, in his first year of high school or going to high school. It was a lot of moving parts and it just started becoming difficult. And I was just like, I don't want to keep this going just for the world. And she added the relationship, quote, doesn't feel 100 percent. It just doesn't feel 100 percent. And she added in he and I are from two different places. I'm from the Bronx, New York. He's from Alabama. So there was a disconnect there too. So you guys leave a comment and let me know what y'all think about that. If you're from the North, if you date someone from the South, is that a problem? Are you not able to connect to people from other places? Because that seemed like a really petty reason to me. Anyway, she goes on to say that they both believe that breaking up was the right thing to do. And she said, I'm just happy that we're able to just be mature and be friends. And she added in, I hope he finds an amazing woman. I'll be at his wedding. He is a great person. It may not be a bad thing that they broke up. If she doesn't even like nice guys and she's calling him a nice guy and a great person, it might be a good thing that they broke up. But leave a comment and let me know what you think about it. Did you think they were going to last? And what do you think about the reasons she gave for them not lasting? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Layla, Layla.